Well, folks, this is Marty out here in Ozark Outdoors. Today I'm going to do a little bit of ladder testing with the 6.5 Grindle. We've got some 123 green SSTs loaded with H335 powder. And some 95 green VMAX is also with H335 powder. They're loaded incremental, a tenth of a grain at a time. I'll be shooting at 200 yards. And hopefully I'll find two or three there that get pretty close together. I'd rather shoot at 300, but I don't have 300 yards here to shoot, so I'm just going to try it at 200. Also, I've got to check the zero on my old 260. I think my daughter's going to use it use season this year. Hopefully, each shot will gradually creep up the paper and find something that Maybe two or three of them that hits fairly close together. I'll work around that. I'd like to find something that shoots good with these 123 grain bullets because they have a good busted coefficient. And they're a hunting bullet. So, anyway. Let's go back up here to the 200 yard bench and see if we can't make something happen. All the persimmon trees or leaves just fell off and persimmons is loaded. There's a lot of them on the ground. Deer's already been working on them. I might have worked on a few of them too myself. They're pretty good. Well, folks, I'm going to start out with the 95 green SSTs to load of 31.3 grains of powder. I don't know if you can see that road on here, but I got 31.3, 31.4, all the way up to 31.9 and 32 grains. I'm just going to shoot one at a time at each paper and go down there and mark it, come back, shoot again. I'll get my exercise that way anyhow. 200 yards down there and 200 yards back eight times because I've got a, a 123 green SST loads they're at 28.3 up to 30 grains this is um, H335 powder Hornady brass these are CCI 400 primers I'm not using the match bench rest primers in this these loads Go 260 just to just to see, and um, it was there and there, so that high one was probably the very first shot out of the cold barrel. Cause that's that's about where it should be, cause I'm shooting with the the regular crosshair which is zeroed at 100 and my 200 yard marks right along in there so that's about right about three inches low at 200 yards from my 100 yard zero and both of these shot lower
anyway. Get back there and shoot some more. Probably gonna clean the barrel on the L260 and shoot three more and see if that group tightens up any at all. That's that ain't bad at 200 yards for no gun that's had no telling how many, no telling how many rounds shot through it. I mean, a bunch. Well, here's the third shot. It's weird, the uh, 95 grains are shooting lower each time. 123 grains really aren't making a whole lot of difference. Well, here's number four. Hopefully something will end up hitting close together. One and two is far apart. Two and three is far apart. Three and four is far apart. Same way here. One and two, two and three, three and four. They're all two inches or more apart. Three maybe. Hopefully this velocity keeps increasing. We'll find something that actually hits somewhere close together. Got four more of each to shoot. Okay, number five. Ain't really getting any better. Jump right back across. Jump right back up. Well, finally, one grouped not too far from the last one. Between five and six is only inch. And a half maybe same way here between five and six inch and a half inch and three quarters hopefully number seven will hit right around in there too we can work around that Looks like now we're getting somewhere. This one's number seven. Five, six, and seven, all within inch, inch and a quarter of each other there. And this is seven here, so five, six, and seven, all within inch and a half to inch and three quarters. Be nice if number eight had hit right in there too. Let's go send that last one. Five, six, and seven charge. Once I get a load for this and for this one, for the 95 grain VMAX and the 123 grain SST, get them to, if I can get them to group like that, and I'll chronograph them and see what the velocity is of them. Well, folks, I'm going to clean the old 260 meat stick here. I know it's had several shells shot through it. can't remember the last time I cleaned it. I may have cleaned it right before I put it away, but and it is shooting pretty good group at 200 yards. Anyway, I'm going to clean it, and I'll, I'll clean the little grindle as well. See if it makes any difference on the way they shoot. This orange copper solvent and a good brush. So anyway, let's get these things cleaned up. Tanny brushes it said six point five. They either was twenty four and twenty five caliber or twenty seven, twenty eight caliber, so I'm going to put some of this copper solvent on it, that brush, and run it through the bore a few times. Good thing to remember, too, in using this copper solvent, these brushes are bronze, which is a copper alloy. Um, it's 
good to wash them off with some soap and water. At least rinse them with water, good. Because the ammonia that's in that will just eat your brush up if you don't clean it. Clean the brush after you're done using it. Try this old bait strip out and see if it makes any difference. Right here, this was the first shot out of the 260 after I cleaned it. And I guess this is probably the second shot, and then the third shot went right back into the group. That right there is about an inch. Six, seven, and eight at 200 yards. That's pretty good right there, folks. I'll take that. Well, that makes me a lot happier, that group right there. This right here ain't bad either. This ain't bad either right here for the old 260. It's pretty hard to beat. For an old gun that should be shot out by now. Well, folks, here's the load data. That 123 green SST load. Got a pretty good group right there. That was 28.7, 28.8, 28 28.9 grains. When I jumped to 29, it shot back over here. So I'm going to work around that load right there. So I'm probably going to work around 28.8, see where that leads. Then the 95 grain VMAX loads, shot 6, 7, and 8. They shot a pretty good group right there too, just a little shell, you can tell it's Pretty good little group. So I'll probably try to work around 31.9 grains and see where that leads. Check out the velocity on it later and I'll load some of those up, give them a try. Not too bad at 200 yards, folks. Pretty happy with that. Now if I can just duplicate that and get it to shoot that way, that'd be a pretty good load. Well, good luck in all your adventures. Thanks for watching.